Hello, welcome. <clears throat> Ashante. Ah, whoa. Uh, another general pick a card. No, it's not pick a card. I haven't done those yet. I hopefully will be able to in 2023 at least kind of experiment and see how I like that area of reading. So far, I just do general pick a or general readings. I don't know why I keep saying pick a cards. Um, it's not for this one, but I don't know. That'd be fun to see what would happen. Um, hello. Whoa, I sprayed. So I wanted to make this video in terms of 2023 coming up. Whoop do -woo. It is so exciting because I don't know about you, but I have transformed Shoo dang, I transformed this year in 2022 and 23 is going to be the more so the kind of nourishing what you have worked on in 2022. I want to go into what you've worked on in 2022 and see um, from where you are now like what's going to happen because of what you've worked on in 2022. I don't know exactly what it is. I haven't gotten kind of a glimpse yet, but we're going to because I am absolutely, I'm kind of just like going with the flow of this. You know what I mean? Why not? Let's see what happens. That's the whole fun part about this for like me with reading is I kind of go in being like, yeah, I'm going to start off with this and then it leads to like something else and I'm like, whoa. So, yes, we got the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, whoa. The Tower for sure and the Ten of Swords. Ooh, that's cool. And I will say the tower did fall upright. The king of pentacles and then justice over the nine of cups. You are absolutely stepping into this person that you've kind of like crafted yourself into for 2022. Whether it's going to be about like, maybe you learn how to set boundaries. Maybe you learn how to... Um, go and chase after things that you really wanted to do all your life. Maybe it's that you start implementing small things into your life. But whatever it is, you're starting to get to a point where... How would I put this? The aspects of you feeling worthy are coming out. The aspects of you feeling like you, what you have crafted all right all right everyone did we just see how the cards you can't really see over here but like they felt like this okay so with the king of pentacles the ace of swords fell out like so and then the high priestess is reversed uh over the ten of swords and the tower <clears throat> and then these seven of cups over justice and um the nine of cups this is a little hard and then the hanged man uh-huh yes okay so it's been very hard for you though in 2022 to really figure out your intuition to really figure out when it comes to these moments that are like holy it's like i call them a slap in the face moments where you just they're moments and they make you feel guilty. <laughs> like that's that's the most kind of like nicest way I could say that is like these moments really make you feel like you're doubting your intuition. But and at the end of the day, I do see over to this side is the Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So yes, it is uncomfortable. The hanged man is an uncomfortable situation, energy to be in, but you're making the best of it. You're making the most of it. And you do see that you are 
in terms of understanding your intuition and in terms of maybe even trusting it in terms of that way, um, at least you're aware of it, which is something more than anything. Like at least you can say that you're aware of it. So once you're aware of it, you can go and make some action about it if you want to be more than just aware of it and be like, okay, um, yeah. So if that doesn't, if you want to hook on more to your intuition for 2023, that could be a great avenue maybe for you um, in terms of in 2022, you've just had a little bit of a hard time understanding how to connect with your intuition in terms of those tower moments that I talked about. Meaning those moments where they literally ricocheted your belief system where you're like, okay, that's done. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, tough love is over the Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So you are realizing though in terms of mm, setting boundaries or in terms of, yeah, in terms of setting boundaries, you have to do it with yourself as well. You have to get to a point where you are more so the mature you, you are in terms of taking the higher road, you're doing the things that you're like, oh man, I like, I, for one, like the responsibilities of whatever it is that you're trying to get into your life. You're like realizing the kind of like things that are more so, I don't know, like it just comes with it. Like there are just things in life where you just have to, there's different responsibilities depending on what you want in life. Like if you want your own place, you're going to have to not only pay for it, you're going to have to have a job so you can support that pay, but also you're going to have to clean it up. You're going to have to keep it nice, you know, refurbish it, so on and so forth. So it's just also about re realizing that when it comes down to the things that you want in 2023, really realizing that um, there are going to be some things that are is like more so not a walk in the park, but you kind of have to figure out with your intuition how to make the essence of it be like a walk in the park. So in terms of like the tough love mentioned here, it's more so about learning to have the patience to build on it, to build what you built in 2022, because I guarantee you did build something. Just be, right? So the patience of it, really learning how to ground into the present moment. Let me just say the present moment is literally the kind of like the most powerful version of you in any kind of time zone continuum. You know what I mean? Like the present moment, you have the most control of what you want to do with your life, what you want to do in terms of who you want to be, in terms of the potentiality of it. Like literally, you could be anyone you want to be, but it's also about understanding how it kind of, what's the meaning behind it like what's the feeling behind it really reminiscing in tune of the kind of like the motivation that keeps you pushing forward going through all this ups and downs you know it's not going to be a walk in the park right but really listening to also in diving deep into that meaning of it and like when you can connect your present self to those meanings on a continuous basis, because your present self will always be in the future, in the past and everything, but it's going to be there in the timeline, right? So there's a lot of present selves that you're going to be in, but making sure that you can really come back to that gratitude or the meaning or that purpose of like why you're doing this in the first place and really coming back to it and refreshing it. I release all doubt and worry clouding my perspective. Really trusting that ultimately you can do whatever it is that you set your mind to. And I know that's like probably a very common saying, but it's the truth. You can do whatever you set your mind to. If you want to get to 
that place that you see another person at and you feel that sense of like igniting of like oh my gosh it like feels so exciting just to be in that moment and you're like ah like oh my gosh it's like I don't know if you like going to concerts but you're listening to your favorite artist and they're like ah oh, and you're like oh so it's really getting into also the moments the maybe even the moments of the future whoa okay imagine this right so maybe you've touched into a little of those moments in 2022 and you're like experiencing a little bit here and there what if you go back and you go through all those moments or like write down just like maybe a sentence or two of that like what you experienced but also learning about how you can tie kind of like in the present moment right so like what happened in the past those moments you write down in the present what is like standing out to you and then you can maybe put yourself in different situations for the future like let's say you're hanging out with your new best friends at the mall and it's a sale or whatever i don't know you know you create your own scenarios it's up to you it's the that's the fun of it also is really taking off this pressure to be perfect or to have your manifestations be perfect and like have them be exactly how you want them to be and just really just having like kind of fun with it and being like oh my gosh this ridiculous situation maybe the more ridiculous it is the quicker it will happen i don't know um but the last card that i want to say and then i'm gonna go is I am not all good in light. Sometimes I have bad thoughts and feelings. This is who I am, light. So maybe the things in terms of right now, right? You're like, maybe that's not a great idea. Or maybe that's like, mm, it doesn't match with you. In terms of that, look at your beliefs as well. Ooh, that's something that I really should make a video about. Your beliefs are so powerful in terms of your manifestations, in terms of it not going the way you want it to. So you really need to look at your beliefs in terms of are they truly aligning with your present self? Are they truly aligning with what you want to do with your life? Or maybe there are some things that you need to kind of have um, the hidden details unveiled so that you can see truly, truly who you are, what you're capable of, and so much more. All right, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to say this really cute saying. One second. By fire and flame, by smoke and scent, I drive from this room all chaos and descent. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous day. Drink some water if you can and maybe some fruit. Eat it if you want, if you're not allergic, if you are a uh, vegetable. Bye.